in today's video we are exploring the beautiful Thai island of Koh Lanta. There is so much to do here and we are not here for the biggest amount of time. All right, are we good to go yet? Can we actually start our day at uh, 2 p.m. babe? But we are going to be exploring some of the essentials from the national park. This doesn't feel like Thailand, this spot here, does it? Hectic. Choppy, you before food, you after food. Some of the best beaches, the old town. Don't know if you've noticed by now, but no trip to Thailand is complete without her finding a swing. And everything you must do if you're only here for a short stay. You excited? Yeah. I hope you guys are excited. We've got a really exciting one planned today in this video. So stick around. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. Hey. You excited? Mm. Stunning day outside. Should we go get some breakfast? Yeah. Twaddy cab. We go into our chariot to mm. breakfast. <sighs> to our breakfast. What a lovely day. Oh my god. For breakfast they have sweets and gummies that is amazing <laughs> i'm gonna fill up on these we've got a nice selection over here we've got some croissants thai omelet of course and jenny has gone to town <laughs> with the pancakes really healthy morning from you sweetie well i'm gonna eat these yeah. whenever i have room you'll I'll fill up on them. those that's always a good shout if it was me i'd do it the other way around you told me yesterday to eat more at breakfast because i moan that i get hungry so <laughs> i'm eating more at breakfast that is true. She tends to have just a few mouthfuls in the morning because she's not too hungry, but then a few hours later, complaints department. How are we so lucky with this weather? This morning there were some clouds. It was a little bit stormy. The wind was blowing, but today it is glorious. The sun is shining. It's super hot. And this pool at this hotel is something special. Look at that. Beautiful. It's an infinity pool. I love an infinity pool. This is the beauty of traveling in monsoon season. There's not a single other soul at this pool other than me it's and Jenny. Our little it's just us on our little elephant. It's so, so quiet and so pretty. The sun's out, skies are blue. Look at what Jenny's found. It's a gecko. Oh my God, you found a We found a gecko. Why do you Why are they called Trevor, sweetie? I don't know, they just are. They're just called Trevor. Oh god, he was so fast. He was a little fast little bugger. He's there. Little gecko. Trevor. Back to the room. We've got our things. Yes. And to start our day. It's roasting. It is roasting. What I'm really liking about this hotel is so many of the rooms have their own little villas, their own little bungalows, so you feel like you have your own private space in such a beautiful resort hotel. What a way to start the morning into the afternoon with our private pool in our sunset pool villa. This is beautiful. Look it at is this. It's phenomenal. With a view of the ocean. I was actually woken up this morning by the sound of waves and to be honest I can't think of a better way of being woken up. I know. And the great thing about this hotel as well is these sunset villas. It is a sunset so you get the sunset if the sky is clear at night and I imagine that would be absolutely phenomenal seeing it from our pool like this. So so pretty. It's just a shame that we don't have a huge amount of time in Koh Lanta. We only have today and then tomorrow we travel to Koh Phi Phi. So today we've got a lot of exciting plans. We're going to go check out the National Park and the Old Town and some of the beaches. So that's exciting. What is the ultimate way of getting around Koh Lanta? Scooters. Scooters. We hired them from the hotel. Two of them. 300 baht for the day. Pretty decent price. But before we set off, I need to get some fuel. And the way that you do it when you're on a Thai island like Koh Lanta is you find these little gasoline stop-offs on the side of the road. Thank you. And 80 baht? 80 baht. 80 baht. Thank you. Our first travel stop of the day is Lotus. Not 7-Eleven, but Lotus. 
because we need water and Jenny needs Powerade. Strawberry Fanta, delicioso. So nice. Matches your helmet. You look like a M&M. Big fat M&M. Big fat M&M. Yeah. There is a baby kitten. Hello. Hello. Hi. Go and do our day, sweetie. We're in oh. Koh Lanta okay. and we're just looking at kittens. I know. Come on. Okay. All right, are we good to go yet? Can we actually start our day at uh, 2 p.m., babe? It's 2 p.m. and we only have one day in Koh Lanta. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go explore the old town now. Yeah, let's Off we go. Let's set off. Bye. Our second stop of the day, we've got a gas pump, 100 bar in, good to go. And we just fill up, simple as that. I've noticed with Koh Lanta being so small, there's very few petrol stations. There doesn't seem to be any like actual big ones like SO garages. They seem to just have little bottles of petrol on the side of the road and these little things. Hi. Koh Lanta Old Town. Woo. What have we got here? More trinkets! <laughs> little very, things. Very trinkety this. I know. Guys really love their little trinkets. The things that do absolutely nothing, that go on the front of the windscreen. I don't know why they do it, but maybe it's good fortune. Maybe it's just a thing out here. Oh, that's really cute. Isn't it? I like that one a lot. The blue one? Yeah. I really like this bracelet. And it's only 50 baht, like bargain in Atlanta Old Town. Definitely noticed a lot of the things are a lot cheaper in Atlanta Old Town than in uh, Chiang Mai, for example, or in Bangkok, where you're gonna pay a massive premium. Blue it is, bracelet it is. And I think I'm set on this necklace, you know, I really like it. And it's not expensive at all, but a really, really nice shop. And this is the first shop that we've just come to in Atlanta Old Town. We've got some lovely jewelry. Lovely jewelry. Lovely jewelry. And guess how much we spent? 250 baht for a necklace, my bracelet, Jenny's bracelet and her necklace. Four items. Mm. Not bad at all. Yeah, this is Atlanta Old Town. So this has a bit of a Chinese influence. You see a lot of Chinese lanterns here and I guess in high season there is a market on this street I've heard but it is just a pleasant place to just wander through mm. so so quiet right now a lot of places are closed but Very just a, quaint. yeah exactly just really quaint and really peaceful here yeah it's enjoyable it's, it's a chill. completely different vibe to the places that we've been previously <laughs> and personally I think this is a nice way around of doing things doing the busy sure. stuff at the start of the trip and then just easing your way into the islands for the second half. So if you want to watch what we've been getting up to this trip in Thailand, make sure you click on that card up there. It will take you to the playlist of all the other activities we've been getting up to. See the view down there. Show us. What have we got down here? Ooh. Pretty. Yeah, that does look stunning. Crazy to think how on such a beautiful day like today, there is nobody else, no tourists. There's like a full restaurant here that is so pretty, really nicely so put together. Beautiful but not a single person in it. Look at that deck, that's gorgeous. We probably could have walked through the restaurant to be honest. I know, And came yeah. out there. Should we do that? That, that looks such lovely. such a nice place to just chill yeah. for a bit. No way, there's a swing. <gasps> Baby, there's a swing. Oh my God. Quick, get to it before the next person does. Today's first swing. Get yourself on it. <laughs> yeah. Don't know if you've noticed by now, but no trip to Thailand is complete without her finding a swing. This is perfect though, look at the view. This is such a vibe. It's unbelievable. To be able to just sit out here, grab a drink and just, just swing. enjoy this. Just have a swing. I love it. And the crazy thing is, Old Town in Koh Lanta isn't necessarily the side for the beautiful beaches. As you can see, there's no beach here. It is just a pier and a place to wander through and grab a drink and just enjoy on the water. But we will be heading to some beautiful beaches later this afternoon. What have we got? Some kind of chicken dish. Chicken cashew, which mm. is the thing that you love out here. And I've gone and got myself a passion fruit smoothie. And um, what have you got? A mm. banana smoothie. Super refreshing just looking out on the water. <laughs> We've just parked our bikes at Mew Koh Lanta National Park. Now entry here was 220 baht each 
for an adult. But on the way here, as we were on the scooters, we passed so many incredible looking beaches. We saw Bamboo Beach, there was Kantiang Beach, there was Nui Beach, and just so many other stunning, stunning beaches. It's so nice to see after having spent so much time on the mainland. But Koh Lanta really has some incredible looking beaches. You can see from that drone footage that some of it is absolutely beautiful. But we were rushing to the National Park because this is obviously one of the top things to do when you come to Koh Lanta. And there is a beach here as well. It appears that there is a nature trail as well, which will take you an hour to walk around, around 2,000 meters. We're not gonna do that today, just because we are running short on sunlight and we wanna make the most of the beach here at the National Park. But that is probably the place that you're gonna see all of the wildlife. Well, this is all very pretty, isn't it? It is indeed. I like coming to National Park. This is a really pretty one. I know, it's really quiet as well. There's nobody yeah. here. And there's a lighthouse. Do you fancy hiking up to it? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Let's go. So many cute little photo opportunities here at this national park where you can just sit down and relax for a minute with the sun shining on you and the pebbly beach on this side and the sandy beach on the other side. Unreal. Weirdest looking fruits I've ever seen. Can anybody tell me what these are? They look like little beehives. They do a bit, but without any bees. Baby, are you just leaving your towel? Why are you leaving your towel? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Do you want know. something to sit on? Yeah. <laughs> I sat down. So this, I have been told, is the best beach on the island by many of the locals. They love coming here. Wow, you can definitely see why. It is stunning. It is so quiet here. There's only two other people. And wow, it is beautiful. We've got a lighthouse up there, a stunning beach here with nobody on it. This is actually unreal. And because it is the afternoon, it is really quiet. Some of the beach is in the shade now. So, you know, if you do want to come in the afternoon and you don't want to be right in the sun, this is probably a good time to come. Should we go up to the lighthouse or? You want to go up I want to go up to the okay, lighthouse. Do you not want to go for a walk up there? Just see that real quick? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's head up to the lighthouse first. Fortunately, we've got the right kind of footwear on today, haven't we? Yeah. Got Birkenstocks, which should be appropriate. Wow, that is unreal. That is so, so pretty. Oh. How the sun is just radiating off all the rocks as well. So nice. And the sea. It looks so, so pretty there. This doesn't feel like Thailand, this spot here, does it? What's it feel like? I don't know. This feels like Thailand. Yeah, this side is This Thailand. maybe doesn't. This feels more like island or something. Okay. On the coast, it does. Yeah. <sighs> Thank God it's not a muddy day. Oh this God, would be a pain getting up in worse conditions. It's definitely a bit steep, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Nearly there. Oh yeah. And success. We've made it to the top of the National Park. Lighthouse is here, we can see the beautiful beach, we can see the nature from up here. Oh, the sun's on us. Mm. We've got so lucky with the weather. And so worth it. There's such contrasting views. That's really choppy, that's really calm. Super calm, relaxing and peaceful. Hectic, Hectic. choppy. You in the morning. Ah. You in the afternoon. You before food, you after food. Me before coffee. Yeah. Me after coffee. Wow, this beach. I've got to say, the sand is unbelievable. Feels like walking on cotton candy. It feels like Play-Doh. It feels like Play-Doh. It's like squishy on your feet. So, so pretty here. No way, I've just spotted monkeys at the end of the beach, a big family of them. And this is why it is a national park. When you see monkeys, you know why. These are aggressive little things, so you've got to be cautious as well. Don't go and pet them. Don't leave your bags. Look, there's a massive group of them. Wow, they're fighting one another. That is crazy. They're properly playing. I know, they're just having fun. They're just being monkeys. Should we go see them? Go closer. You feel like we should head out? 
shouldn't outstay our welcome. Are you a bit intimidated by them? A little bit. What with them being this big in comparison to you? No, that big one is pretty, pretty big. And yeah, pretty and there is a baby around. There's one, two, three, four, the big dad. So cute. This is so cool. We just got so close to these monkeys. A daddy one, a mummy one. There's a baby one just holding on to the mummy, just like Jenny holds on to me. So, so cute as you walk through this national park. If you keep your eyes peeled, you're gonna see so, so many monkeys. And to be honest, they're kind of friendly. Like we got pretty close to them and oh, we yeah. didn't get attacked. And I have had experiences in the past where you've got quite close to monkeys. They do start to run towards you because if they feel threatened, especially if there's a little baby one around, they can tend to get a little bit threatened and get a bit aggressive, but we've been pretty lucky this time. I guess it's because mm -hmm. there's very few people here, but sun is going down. So I think our time at this national park is coming to a close. We're gonna head over to a beach, enjoy the sunset and just relax. We were just driving around trying to look for a place to stop off to enjoy the incredible sunset, but we just hit a rain cloud. But right here, we've got such an unbelievable view of Katiang Beach, I think it is. It is raining though, but it doesn't take away from its beauty. Look at that rain cloud. I don't oh, even I'm... care about the rain. It's so nice. It's so pretty. It's actually quite refreshing. Yeah. We say this now and then it's gonna absolutely batter it down. We just got caught in a bit of a rainstorm, but we found this really cute little restaurant that seems to be closed. Nobody else is in it other than two other people that got the same idea that we did, <laughs> just to take some cover from the rain, but admire this unbelievable sunset. But even though it's been wet, the sky is still phenomenal. Like the sunset is orange, it's glowing. There's some beautiful purple and pink hues that we can see on Katiang Bay, I think it is, the beach here. I can never get tired of these sunsets here in Thailand. I think we're gonna have to stay just until the sun goes down. It's so, so beautiful here. Hearing the waves crash, unreal. Bye. And after a long scoot back, it is dark, but mm. we've got cocktails, so it's fine. I've had a beer as well, but we have mm. got a pizza on the way. Before our dinner. <laughs> Just a pre-dinner snack. I've got a sweet and sour curry, which looks amazing and a morning glory of course because that is just the go-to vegetable dish out here in thailand i've got to say as far as sweet and sour chicken dishes go in general this is among the best this will give any takeaway in the uk a massive run for its money if you were to ever order a sweet and sour chicken and get this delivered then you would be happy i can assure you how's your pasta lovely penne no it's not penne no, it's spaghetti. Spaghetti arabiata. Mm -hmm. That's been delicious. And I think that's it from today's video here exploring Koh Lanta. We've had an amazing, amazing time exploring the beauty that this wonderful place has to offer. As I say, this is where I'm going to wrap things up. So if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, hit the bell notification if you want to get notifications for the weekly uploads. What else should they do? Just watch all the videos. Yeah, and what Just else is on? Them. What else is on here now? There's something on the screen. Yeah, isn't there? playlists. Tell. You're learning. You're nearly there. You'll soon be able to do my outros for me. We will get there in the end. See you guys in the next one.